Atlantic City Boys here outside the National Archives where we are going to steal the declaration. Wait, nope. Nope. We're going to look at the Declaration of Independence. Better. That's right. DC. Ten bucks for a hat. Now that's a deal. What is a good seller for you? Would Trump. it be the Trump? Trump is the best seller. The the Trump Make America Great Again hat is. Really? That's how many people a day do you sell the Trump hats? I don't count. I <laughs> I have the same hat as all of you guys, see? <laughs> that looks pretty cool. So I'm in style, right? Yeah. Yeah? What's the best thing about the bucket hat? Uh, they're cute. They're cute? cute? The fashion? And the hat guy's crushing it. That's awesome. Very cool. So we're not allowed to take photography inside the National Archives. But once we steal, borrow the Declaration of Independence, we'll be able to probably take pictures of that. Okay, so we weren't allowed to take photos in there, but we got something even better, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's the Constitution. We're supposed to get the declaration. Awesome thing about being in downtown DC, maybe the food trucks. Right now, we're getting a taste. What are we tasting there? Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Ah. That's really good. Thank you. I'm gonna be back. Sure. It's so good. There's all kinds of cool stuff to do here in the American History Museum. You can see the Batmobile, you can see Ruby Slippers, Kermit the Frog, and you can even be the president. And so, my fellow Americans, <laughs> ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for me. <laughs> Give me endorsement money. One of my favorite displays in the American History Museum is this old-fashioned bicycle. Kids used to actually go outside and ride them instead of being on the computer. Now, a favorite tourist shot to get of the Washington Monument is holding it up because it's leaning just slightly. No, that's not a thing, man. Washington Monument stands magnificently on the White House lawn. Uh, the one just below it uh, was actually erected for George Washington's uh, much less popular brother, Stuart. So lots of people come up here to the Washington Monument to actually touch it. But has anybody actually licked the Washington Monument? Mmm, <laughs> tastes like freedom. Washington's coolest bar is POV, which hangs out right across the street from the White House. <laughs> Atlantic City Boys, one heartbeat away from the Oval Office. <laughs> the George Washington Monument, as you can see, rising high over the city and not nearly as impressive as George Flaccid Jones. Uh, was only <laughs> stands about a foot tall. Why is that? Why is it my name? So uh, there must be some good thing about him. There must be something good. Did he talk too much? If he zipped his mouth, he would be a good person. He would I'm be good you. if he zipped his mouth. Yeah, I think you're right. But you he, know what's he will up. never do that. He won't. He won't. <laughs> we'll do his Twitter. All right, I'll let you get back to your tweeting. Okay. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you.